everyone welcome to ancient bath let's make a kurti that is the same uh, we are going to do like uh, the online shopping website ajio okay <laughs> uh, i'm not i'm i'm just copying their address i'm not uh, uh, this fix just, just copying and not robbing isn't it so this is the material i'm using uh that is the kurti it will have the side uh, gathering or uh, two sides gathering and the front side it is straight so for that uh, this is uh, two uh, one and a half meters per meter 160 cm 160 rupees okay so what we have to do is take your uh, basic patterns okay uh, i hope everyone have a basic body pattern so let me take this okay uh can you see her uh yeah whenever i start doing the video she will come run uh, and uh, lie on the, whatever i am doing she will focus it and she will lie on it and she will <laughs> stop me from doing it okay this is the front piece i will take uh what you have to do is let's take a newspaper because i just have the newspaper now they trace your Uh, patterns one by one. Okay, first I will trace my front pattern. And uh, before, uh, uh, so this front pattern uh, is having the buttons and uh, button holes. So actually, we have to uh, make that also. Uh, else, you can also uh, that uh, uh, you can mark it in the fabric also. Okay. I will mark it in the fabric. Okay, I will mark it here. If I forget, means what will done. Okay, uh, this this is the front pattern. So I need two pieces, two inch. So I will take the two inch for the button hole and button looping. Then I will mark the rest. everything i will mark in this side i have i need 2 inch seam allowance uh so up to waist we need okay we need up to waist here we will mark the dot okay where is the waist so this is the waist portion up to the waist portion we need okay Uh, so I will mark this base portion in your straight line. So that is my assume that uh, from here uh, they have gathered. So two in C elements will go for that. For go and. Uh, and this 2 inch okay gathering will come for everywhere so it is one fold this is the one fold gathering okay one piece gathering so totally we need two piece two sides uh, so from here uh, we just uh, uh, forget the seam allowance so from here what we have to do is this is the placket 2 inch and uh, that will fold and from here Uh, around here our our dart line dart line they have started the gathering uh, so up to get dart line it may be from here isn't it so i will take uh, around 5 inches or 5 and a half inches 5 inches okay i will take 5 inches and uh, i will draw a line straight line a very straight line okay straight line i will do then i will cut this portion okay and uh, all i have to do is i will just cut this portion out okay this portion i will cut out and i will show you how okay uh this one this one we will cut it this po this portion also i will cut so this is the gathering portion so we need two pieces 
uh, and uh, this portion is a single piece this portion is will take for gathering uh, and this portion we will extend and this portion also we will extend up to what length we need up to angle or knee length or knee length not this is not a knee length to the uh, above one uh, above angle angle length or floor length that is it is like angle length angle length it is only then it will become beautiful uh, everything we have marked okay everything we have marked so only thing is mark on the fabric and cut it so after placing this pattern this is for the friend okay and this is for the friend and uh, i mean two sides okay two sides like this we will also cut from the back single piece okay uh, so front piece is separated and back piece is single uh neck we will cut later in the fabric itself we will cut later okay this is the front part two pieces next is take one more newspaper or any other paper chart paper whatever you have like so we are going to mark our uh, back part place your back pattern that is a single layer so this here it is so i will trace and i will uh, mark it so here also we need uh, we will mark like so i will tell so i will this is a single piece we need Uh, in the fabric, we will place it in the fold side and uh, cut it. It's very easy. When I see the design, I felt it is uh, difficult. But when I washed two or three minutes, sometimes even when I washed, I got it. Okay, that's it. The so two inch seam allowance I will mark on the waist. Okay, on the waist up to waist we are taking. Okay. Uh, then i will mark here i i i am sure that uh, this will be more successful i will get it more successful then what uh, are the length we have taken for the back piece that we will take here okay 5 inch okay so we here also we will take the 5 inch 5 inch make a straight line and we will make the pattern okay so here the gathering will come so cut it so this is for me it's so easy that i have the basic for body patterns so i have uploaded a basic body pattern making video in my channel you can also go through it and you can make your uh, pattern okay with that pattern you can make many kinds of dresses many kinds of dresses you don't have to mark all the time then then uh, this also i will cut it i hope you are understand so uh, i hope you understand what i'm saying this is very easy so what i have got uh in day by day the techniques i am just sharing with you that's all so next is the hardest part that is cutting from the fabric 
So let us do it. This is the bad part. So replace your body parts. Here uh, we don't need the dart making. Only the side dart we will make. That uh, we will make in the uh, while stitching we can make. Take your fabric. I'm just uh, checking. Okay, there is enough for me, so I will again refold it. Then I will place my pattern. Okay, this much only. Okay, again I can refold. Why should I waste? Because I will cut out this portion out. Then why should I waste there? Uh, I, I can pin it and I can trace it or I can trace it now itself. I will trace it. Okay, I will trace it. Then uh, I will remove the pattern. Then I will remove the pattern. Then I shall make this line straight. So that I must get a single uh, piece. Then I will just make this as a straight line. Okay, I hope you can see what I did it. The same length it will be there, it should be there. I guess the same length is not there. So I will check the length. What? This is almost 7. So here also I will mark the 7. I don't know how when while we Ah, because this is 5 including the placket. Okay, so we need the placket. That is the placket with placket. This is 7. Okay, so we can cut it. Okay, uh, so I will <laughs> just fold it. Uh, this type of uh, kurti, you can do it in the cotton type out. This kind of fabric. This is not pure cotton. I don't know, spun like thing. So I will cut the front piece, two pieces separate, okay, I will separate it later. Then I will cut from this pattern. Then uh, including the half in seam elements, I am uh, cutting it. Okay. Just adding the half, uh, half in seam elements. And 
So this is for the front pattern. Okay, one piece for the front pattern. Can you see? I will place it more again there and. Uh, Actually, uh, uh, that one and a half meter was not enough for me, and I was trying to get uh, where would I uh, able to cut the back pattern. That was so confused and. Uh, uh that's what i'm doing in this video then i'm not i just trim not, not trimming this video because my cat is here uh, it's some nice entertainment for you okay uh then uh, what i did is i will tell in the next video i uh, what i did so i'm trying to get i'm got bit bit nervous i got uh, that's what i'm doing here so take the back piece and do on the folded side i will trace the pattern so i will for trace it i'll remove the pattern and i will and i will draw this line straight i will draw this line straight and i will cut it so i went the shop and by bought half meter more because uh, uh two and a half one and a half meter is not enough so and, the, and this half one half meter i bought so what i'm going to do is this is the left over pieces for making the gathering in the sides uh, anyways that was my foolish idea that uh, i was uh, about to make this kind of i didn't know that this kind of kurti need more cloth okay this is the length of the gathering we have left so uh, i will make the new cloth the same length okay make the same length as my leftover fabric <laughs> you may think what i am doing okay i will um, cut here i will cut here so i got gathering for two sides see i got gathering for two sides okay i will make little gatherings i will make small gatherings okay this one two sides for to making gatherings i got this much and you uh, see this is the length and i shall attach one more piece here 
that is i will get from this uh, pad clothes okay some more left over piece is there then i will attach that piece here then i will get the gathering okay uh, so this is the sleeves so what i'm going to do is i will fold it into four like this okay i will fold it into four then i will attach uh, this side uh, a, a piece like so i will attach one piece here i will show you so it's a sleeve that is uh, not i am not going to make any puffs okay i'm i'm getting total 8 inches okay 8 inches i am getting uh, and um four or four and a half i can take or three and a half okay three i'll take three i'll take and make a line anyways uh ah yeah see here so like so okay then i will cut the sleeves okay that is a random way i am cutting i have already uploaded the sleeve cutting and the perfect sleeve cutting i have already uploaded that you can watch okay so including the seam allowance okay so this is the sleeve okay after uh, then i will attach this piece here this piece uh, to this uh, side then i will extend my sleeve length okay understood so that's how i'm going to extend my sleeve length i will attach like see here and uh, this is how okay see uh, one piece i will attach like so so here i will give a cut okay in the center i will give a just cut okay then i will uh, fold it so i i will show you see in, i will turn it before attaching to the sleeves i will um, fold this piece into two and uh, i will draw i will make a cut here then i will see you around this and then i'll cut this portion okay then i will turn it uh, right side then that portion then i will uh, join with this sleeves to the right sides okay right side i will join with the sleeves then uh, i will finish the sleeves okay you know uh, that is the technique i'm going to do or else you can also uh, do uh, that strip also you can give okay that uh, uh, band button band also you can also give uh, i'm going to give uh, like this i'm going to do like this so it will be more nice okay anyways i am getting enough sleeves and enough gatherings thank god okay so what i am going to what we have to do is first of all first of all what we have to do you tell me <laughs> we have to gather it okay we have to gather this uh, okay and uh, for that i will uh, attach this leftover fabric to this shortage less uh, here this is the okay the, so i will attach this piece here first the same length and uh, i will gather it i will give the long stitch here and i will gather it one piece and i will gather it next piece okay then what i will do is next is the simple procedure very simple uh, i will attach this gathering here okay one gathering i will attach here and uh, this this like okay it will come like this a small gathering and behind to the uh, other um, uh, back piece i will uh, attach this gathering okay i'll attach this gathering and uh, so Uh, leaving the two in seam allowance i will attach this gathering okay 
like so i will do and i will also attach the uh, sleeves also that you don't have to see isn't it sleeve attachment you don't have to see i know that so after giving the gathering this single uh, this single uh, see i have given the two in seam allowance isn't it so by leaving the two in seam allowance i will attach this okay then uh, all you how i can do is after attaching the back and front pieces then i can attach this gathering isn't it that is a good idea after attaching the uh, front and the back pieces after finishing the neck crown and everything so this is the idea i am going to i am giving you after uh, i will attach the uh, gathering okay i will attach the shoulders i will attach the shoulders first okay somewhat i am nervous about it because i went the shop and i bought this i thought i didn't had a thought of that is it's a very scarcity of okay then i will attach this one. before that we have to do one more thing okay before that we have to do one more thing this is the front part we have to make it separate okay we have to make it separate after attaching the gathering and the sleeves and everything i will make the Uh, my desired length okay i will cut and i will make the desired length so uh, i am going to uh, separate the front piece into two piece two separate pieces just cut uh, by the center and uh, i will get two separate pieces So remember, for making this kind of kurti, you need at least three meters, <laughs> isn't it? At least uh, this is two meters and two and a half meters. At least two and a half meters you need. Even though this this uh, fabric was very uh, high, I mean, lengthwise and breadthwise, it has enough fabric. then also it did in the okay okay uh, so we have separated our front pieces so what i will do is i will make a plaited first first in the left side i will fold and uh, every 2 uh, inch i will fold and the la right side i will fold by the 1/4 um, inch and then half inch so that i will i can fold it like this okay not so just extend some on the right and uh, every 2 inch i will fold on the left and only 1 and 1/2 half uh, only half inch here 1/4 one, uh, inch and uh, Uh, half inch or one inch, okay, just one inch. So one inch, uh, I will uh, extend. I am just going to get the one inch, okay. Uh, so that's how I am going to make the plaits, and I will attach the buttons here and the loops here, okay. Then um, after giving the taking the desired length, I will open here. I will open it here, okay. Now, then I will show you the final outcome, okay. Uh, until then please wait okay i will come to you with the final outcome uh, we have finished our uh, kurti can you see <laughs> okay <clears throat> okay uh, we have finished our kurti see but uh, this is very uh, comfortable and it looks like a maxi dress and uh, only thing we have to be uh, take a and keep in mind that you uh, you should not add um, that if you are adding the two in seam allowance on that two in seam allowance you have to sew only then because the thing is this gathering we are giving on that uh, uh, seam allowance whatever we have seen so what the mistake i had did is see i have sewed uh, this seam allowance you have to keep Uh, according to what you have because it should not uh, should not increase and should not also decrease 
it should be in the same what you have are desiring later you can't do anything this is the only drawback i found in this kurti later because if i uh, this see if i um, made this uh, i have to make also this gathering too but this will not be good because i already i had a join here uh, so that that uh, i would have um, keep in mind but now i uh, again i can take it i can i can stitch it out and i can make it uh, seem uh, less and uh, i can make it uh, if uh, if i got a time i will do it so i put the uh, loop button and loop holes also button and loop and fix the button also separately okay Uh, the length is uh, is coming to my angle is coming to my angle and see the hand uh, see i have given this uh, extra fitting the in the figure it's extra fitting was there like it was there and i don't know the cutting about i didn't see her cutting i mean i didn't uh, have a second look on the cutting of the hands anyway my, i have got the desired length then the neck width the neck width and the neck depth uh, everything i have given uh, more than the basic pattern uh, after that i have cut and i have joined so what i did was after joining the shoulders i given the cross pieces okay i gave the cross pieces and i stitched along with that that's it then uh, i joined the hands okay joined the hands after joining these things i have told you how i have joined this okay uh, then what i did is so i joined here then what i did was i gave the gathering to that extra piece and uh, i joined here then i joined the sides and here also it's somewhat it's a tedious process but after uh, having the look of the final outcome it will be uh, you will have you will be happy because it's so comfortable dress you can wear it while wearing while traveling nowadays the i don't know where we are going to travel after this covid 19 <laughs> okay uh, so this that's all about my video that is making of a kurti uh, that is uh, copying a kurti from ajeo line strands isn't it so that's why i hope you like my video see you in the next video bye take care god bless